Welcome back ARC players to a brand new video. Now today I am going to be talking all about the major update which has gone live today, literally about 10 minutes ago from making this video. The major update is for console PC players. I do have some additional updates that went live today too, which we'll be mentioning after we read through the new post from Wildcard. But PlayStation players, you're going to have to wait a little bit later. It's not meant to be that much later, but I, they have the news here, so I'll read through it. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, please consider dropping a like and consider subscribing to the channel as it means the world to me. And let's get in with today's video. So as you'll be able to see, the ASA cross-platform console premium mod launch. A lot of people have been waiting for this and um, I am now excited to show you guys the new trailer which has come with this too which we'll be watching um, but pretty much they go on to say download and play new premium content created by players including maps, creatures, items and game modes now on Xbox and Windows. With, bra um, with nine brand new modes, uh, well, uh, well mods, um, Ark Survival Ascended becomes the first game to professionally cre um, create, well, to bring professionally created premium mods to consoles. These mods crafted by game studios and talented community modders add game-changing content like new modes and expansive maps with hundreds of development hours poured in Premium mods promise high quality regular updates to enhance your ARC experience. PlayStation users look forward to accessing these premium mods later this month. And as you can see on the Twitter page, when they put the tweet out, they said premium mods for PlayStation are still going through certification, but we will keep you updated on the progress. So later this month, which means you'll get it probably at the end of the month, which isn't too bad. Um, and uh, let's watch the trailer through together and uh, you can have a little idea of what to expect. So yes guys, new cross-platform mods released weekly and uh, yeah, really, really great news. And do you know what the one thing that I'm just really disappointed with is just like how this game has got so much potential to just be a ginormous game. Like some of these premium mods, like uh, the ones I'm going to show you in a second, are so much fun and they, they don't have the huge, huge player count that they actually deserve to have because some of these um, mods are like not even really ARC. They're like ARC, but completely different games in ARC. And I just feel like they deserve so many more players. But the reason why they don't is obviously some people were unhappy with the Survival Ascended launch. But let's hope that can improve 
within time. So this video features Enclave um, Survival Skyward by Look North World Effective Studios. So this is the one I really want to play. I saw Ras Clark playing it, playing it um, earlier today. A once thriving civilization now lies in toxic ruins. The few survivors have sought refuge in the heights of their abandoned buildings far above the lethal gas and savage beasts, but the heights have their own danger. Um, it brings a new aspect to Ark, the skies, the jungle is fuller than ever with dangerous animals and treasure, and bases are now built in tall reclaimed skyscrapers. Explore and climb these towers and build, strong, uh, build a strong base and travel to other towers using risky zip lines or even parachute from above. It brings great, a greater de um, degree of um, versatility than ever before. Now, ba um, now battles and treasures are not just around you, but also above and below. Gather your team, create a sky castle and protect it from everyone. I can't wait to give this a try. It sounds amazing. Um, and then we have Forgler Premium Snowy Train. Shout out to you. Um, I know uh, you uh, have been working very hard and the map will reach 100% um, completion on the 17th of November 2024. But the map is fully playable at 68%. Gaia Potions been something around for a long time. It's great to see it's made its way there. Um, we also have a new, another map, the Reverence, containing powerful uh, towering mountain peaks lush plains and thick jungles um so another map for you to check out survive the night by blue isle studios transforms the art gameplay you know and love into a thrilling and terrifying zombie horde survival experience welcome to the obsidian isle a dark hostile world where survivors are thrust into relentless battle for survival against hordes of horrific zombie dinosaurs whether joining forces with others or braving the challenges alone players must scavenge for resources build fortifications and craft an arsenal of weapons and supplies to withstand the zombie threat. We have Ark Omega Ascended, which has a thousand versions of every creature existing in this mod. Um, GG Skylines Premium Mod offers floating island bases to use, um, which will be added to, with, with each DLC release, new Skylines will be added and inspired from the new DLC map. Um, so Vartalheim, um, obviously a premium mod uh, by, um, you know, the creator of uh, the maker of Valgera and Fjorda is really awesome. And uh, Garuga has the Anon Malocaris, I'm going to pronounce, um, another ocean creature for you guys to dive into with a premium mod. So that is everything that you guys on the console need to know about within the new major update. I hope it's a lot of fun and welcome to the world of modding. I know you've had some mods, but the premium mods are very awesome. So welcome, welcome. And finally, for PC players, um, there, there was a fixed uh, server crashes related to the tech cave, uh, deferred movement and logging processes. They um oh there's a oh is the minor version for Xbox on the PC ones that's a bit weird fix crash when playing with some mods and fix crash when placing structures on train cars why is that one okay but anyway so that's for Xbox clients and finally for PC players they all right so you just had the same fix it was fix crash running some mods on servers and clients and then before that was the ceratosaurus and the barracuda being added to scorched earth well the ceratosaurus added to scorched earth and the island and the new fish being added to the island so anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video i hope this updates you with all going on regarding um arc survival um and i will catch you in my next video very soon see you guys then